Hello everyone, welcome back to some more WWE 12 Ultimus Amendment. And now, WWE presents TLC. Need to turn it up, sorry. I keep forgetting to turn the volume before I start. I'm not sure why though. Okay, we arrive in the warm city of Tampa, Florida, in the Sunshine State, for TLC, Table Sliders and Chairs. I'm going to do the interest is to put some time on you. Both Scarpa will be John Cena entering. <laughs> Both keep the wake. Okay, that was John Cena's citrus. Got him a well early home a well early from school today, which is good. Okay. It's doing the TV thing, showing the what titles gonna be defended. Introducing the challenger from Dublin, Ireland, weighing 272 pounds, the Celtic warrior, Sheamus, and his opponent. Yeah, the crowd always says was world cheers in the game, they'll do the big ones like at a live event. For some reason I don't know why THQ decided to cut all the booze and banks from the challenge thing. I have no idea why, but heck, this is their game, it's not mine. If I was mine, I would be changing it up to do that, but again, yeah. <laughs> it has come down to this. Seamus is obsessed. Obsessed with winning the World Heavyweight Champion. Oh man, he's got to be out of it. Oh, he's been knocked. Oh, no, right on the steps. Oh, man, that's got to hurt. Ow, hard kick to the rim. And a huge collision with the barricade. Oh, there's another beautiful knee lift. Uh-oh. Oh, jeez, oh, that's some serious pain. Sheamus has been obsessed with the World Heavyweight Championship. What do you think it'll mean to him if he wins it? Well, in that sick mind of Sheamus, I wouldn't be at all surprised if he treated that holding of that title as being ruler of the world. But fortunately, there's a John Cena. Fortunately, Cena's here to stop him. Oh, oh my gosh! He came down on that ladder! He's got hold of that ladder! Hold on, where's he going? Now climbing one rung of the ladder at a time. could be coming down any second. Oh, dang. And there's the ladder. Oh, 
Okay, Cena, you need to stay out of the wing while while I'm activating your title. A save. Oh crap! Oh no! Uh, I've stayed down. What the? He's got a nasty looking object in his hands. Oh, no. Oh, my gosh. I thought he was going to get leveled there. Now with a chair. Who's going to just leave him with that thing? Is it again he gets struck with that object? You've got to be kidding me. He's still not through. This isn't good, King. No, not at all. Ah, look at this. Ooh. Hey, and this time, Seamus, the Irish curse. Uh-oh, it might be time to run. Seamus, no. Cena's got it. Cena. Ooh, he's going for the... Oh, he's got the ropes. Behind! <gasps> no, he can't. no, no, he can't! He can't! High cross! Oh. Him yelling, wow, yeah, Jeffy, Jeffy, that was that Justin Bob, it's, I have no idea. I think, I think it was James. Welcome everyone to Monday Night War. We enter a new year we arrive and watch from town Miami Fort. Happy New Monday Year, everyone, are we some game? Michael Cole and Jerry the King Lawler at ringside. It was an historic night for this band of, well, I guess we have to call them champions now, the United Kingdom. Yeah, never in my life have I seen a group just dominate the way the United Kingdom did last night. Say what you will, but you have to give them credit. And now, King, they hold all the gold. Can't see him. Every champion in WWE today. <clears throat> you see, Sorry. when a man or woman from Great Britain is their main to a task, it gets accomplished. I've been in this industry long enough to see many groups come and go. The Generation X, Evolution, the Four Horsemen, and the men that formed those factions were all outstanding. But they were just men. Peasants in the we are kings. We come from countries of nobility and honor. We are superior to you. We, the United Kingdom, are superior to your four horsemen. Wait, what the? Whose song is that? It can't be. <gasps> Who? I think that's the music of the four horsemen, kid. On Anderson! Four horsemen? 
a group that dominated for 20 years? Did I hear that right? That's exactly what he said. Who? You talk out of turn again. I come down there and take you over my knee. You understand? We'll carry you, dinosaur. <laughs> You'll take the mighty king of the the horseman, and we can find out right now. Look, Seamus, my competitive days are over. But if you're feeling frisky, I think something can be arranged. Now, just a second. Let me I have it. John Cena told me just a couple minutes ago he was looking forward to his remake. Nicholas? <clears throat> but he doesn't want to wait until we're all wrong. Seamus, you and Cena are going to tag him right now. Ooh. Rematch for the Royal Heavyweight Championship right now. <laughs> Bless it. John Cena couldn't wait. He wasn't going to wait for the Royal Rumble. He wanted Seamus here tonight. Well, I think when the United Kingdom started talking about how they are the most dominating group in the history of our industry, I think they put a fire under Cena. But what is to wonder about the tradition of Cena? Seamus hit that massive high cross, leaving Cena a twisted wreck in ringside. Yeah, but this is John Cena. I'm sure his New Year's resolution is to win that championship back. Yeah, I'm guessing. Deep down deep into it, it's John. But he's still a man. A man that we were all counting on to put an end to the United Kingdom. Oh, man. He landed right on his neck from that German suplex. Watch out here. A another gym. And another German super. He would stay down. Stay down, John. Ugh. Ugh. Stay down, John, for goodness sake. Again, oh, STF. STF walked in. Sheamus hit the ramp. Was that accidental? Oh, I doubt it. Yeah, me too. Wait a minute. On Anderson. Oh, McIntyre stole first. Cena. Cena's going to win. Attitude adjusted. One, two. Okay, I guess that's going to end the uh, part here. Well, that is after the intro for next week. Welcome back, everyone, to Monday Night Ball. We've traveled away from the Sunshine State now. And now, for you in Grand Rapids, Michigan.
fella, it's not going to happen. And the same goes for Lord McIntyre and Lord Regal's opponents tonight. Boy, you know what? Gold for Kingston, so. See, here's the thing. Daniel Bryan and I are pretty crafty, too. The UK has been banned from ringside for our tag match. Woo! So why don't you go and work on your tan, Shayna? <laughs> well, Gold Kingston and Daniel Bryan will face the WWE Tag Team Champion, William Regal and Drew McIntyre. And the best part is that the United Kingdom so. is banned from ringside. We're back. Okay, that is going to end the part here. I will see you all in the next part when we do this tag team match. Playing as William Regal and Drew McIntyre versus Kofi Kingston and Daniel Bright. The non title match, I'm guessing this is. I will see you all in the next part. Bye bye, everyone.